Okay, it is a moment of truth, and I'm going to be taking the GPZ out on a test drive. I didn't get to ride it the other day when I uh, synchronized the carburetor, or, I'm sorry, synchronized the throttle bodies. So what I'll do is take it up the road and see how it runs. It's already actually firing on all four cylinders, all four exhaust pipes are hot now. And I think a lot of the smoke that I was seeing was the residue that had built up in the exhaust over time on those, the, like I say, if it wasn't beyond quarter throttle, uh, the, the two left, these two cylinders were just, there was no air getting to them. And so they were just, all that fuel was just dumping uh, into the exhaust system. So it's just carboned up and a lot of residual junk in the, the exhaust. So I think that's what most of the smoke was. At least that's what I'm hoping. And so I'll go for a, a little drive down the street. Hopefully the bike doesn't let me sit. But I'll, I'll put the camera on the helmet and you guys will have a front row seat. What a difference. This thing ran so poorly before. And now it pulls much smoother. It's amazing what happens. You know, people go in and they work on a bike and they don't really know what they're doing. And maybe they read something online or watch somebody else do, do something, watch a video of it. But if you don't know what you're doing, man you can mess up a bike really quickly and you're, you're leaving a kind of a train wreck for somebody else to inherit yeah this thing wants to go it's amazing the the even though this is fuel injected the setup and the throttle bodies are very very much like carburetors and even synchronizing them is done the exact same way and so even though this is fuel injected and it ran crappy, it wasn't the fuel injection system that was causing it to run bad. It was the mechanical linkages in the throttle bodies that made the bike run poorly. And that was just the way that somebody had adjusted them. Like, oh, I, I can't wait to ride this thing once I've got the... I'll probably just put a new clutch in it, but... Once that's done, this thing should just absolutely rip. I want to get home first, so make sure it doesn't smoke. Make sure that that is, that the residue is the smoke that I was seeing. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. So I have to ride with somebody and uh, let them tell me how close I'm coming to dragging the pipe when I'm making right-hand corners. I really don't like dragging stuff, and but it's hard to see when you're riding the bike how much clearance you have. Thank God, not a wisp of smoke. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Wow, that's fantastic. That's running so nice now and yeah, I couldn't be happier. I'll go ahead and 
get the front bracket welded and put the front fairing back on and stock mirrors and uh, she's pretty much ready to go.